Hello everyone, this is 1.6.4 and the last version of the Golden Hour. I can settle 1.0 to 1.6, the Golden Hour, because it's where the game was at its highest peak. The absolute highest was mid 2013, and 1.6 was out at the same time. I think it was June of 2013 was the absolute peak of the Haunt Hour. Well, based off of the chart I looked at. But in 1.7, the game was still, it was still popular, extremely popular. Though 1.6 and 7 are so different, they kind of need to be separated. And also 1.7 removes things like this and 1.7 removes a lot of blocks like like the locked chest yeah 1.7 removes it and also these get removed and that get re gets removed because of the set block command 1.8 though was a long wait also for 1.9, and we know what how 1.9 turned out, I would say. So yeah, 1.8 was when it went down, 1.7 was still, it was lower than 1.6, but it was still pretty high. But yeah, um, when it comes to errors, yeah. Um, yeah, I finished the museum a little bit. I had to cheat with some of these items. Minecraft 1.0, I collected this legit. This technically legit. By the way, this also gets removed. Yes, I have that. So yeah, everything, including that thing, gets removed in... Wait, what? There's no chest for this one? Oh, okay, there we go. Then those these, which are placed, there's literally no way to get that in survival. And there's some things I don't understand. But yeah, something I had fun with, and I've never known about these, Placeable these are uh, the trip while I've never actually knew that those existed This museum has basically no rules just craziness Stack of every item. There's no way I collected all of these in survival. I did not collect any of this But I keep them in here Yeah, those some things I give myself sometimes I don't Wait, what's the- oh, trap chest. So yeah, 1.5, the redstone update. And I kind of like to put wither skeleton scars on the wall. That was a neat idea. But there's still a few things we need to talk about. Now I already- oh yeah, there's also this. Just a quick little path. I'm going to have another wall download. A, a season 4 wall download. It's going to replace the other wall download. I do have a few items on me that I kind of want to get rid of. Now these. I'm okay with keeping because they're just unbreakable. That's it. But yeah, I did have fun with just editing and just playing. These I'm okay with keeping because they're just unbreakable. But I kind of noticed something. In 1.1, I really hate myself for doing this, but I gave myself this. So we need to get rid of this. Let me show you a cool little area in my 
walled. I'm not going to completely get rid of them. Not yet. Um, not completely. Not sure what I'll do exactly. But over here, I have no idea how old this shovel is. No idea. I don't know, guys. So this was my... Gee, it's pretty hard to explain. But there were cloth. There was a block called cloth. Cloth. And it got removed at one point, and then it got re-added. And in the instead, I got a spawner and a staircase, I think. Then in early beta, I got more stuff. And then beta, I got that stuff, etc. I guess you guys know the point like this. Oh, oh, I guess I can keep the lapis then, okay. That's good. But over here is where I put um, the stuff that I shouldn't be using. And I want to get rid of this, so I'm just going to put it in a chest. This is going to be a illegal stuff bot. We have gold too. I'm also curious to see how long this will take to break, you know what I mean? Anyway, we got only one sword that's invincible. But here's the thing about enchantments. You never want the looting to be more than more than 40. I would say 40 is the absolute max, but I would not recommend any more. This one I will never use. This one maybe, probably not actually, but you don't want the fortune to be overpowered or, or that would really break things. Um, like fortune 12, fortune 9, I think, 8, fortune 8, so this is the most likely one I'll actually use, so as the silk touch. It shouldn't be able to put insta mine deep slate. It shouldn't. We'll see about it. We'll see about that. So I did add a few things to this ward. I did load I did load an extreme amount of 1.6 pine because Yeah, I guess I should oh, Wow. Oh yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to go for the shortcut. Yeah, I like how those are... Have one here. Ward 1 and 2. I want to show you guys my very, very first... Well, not extremely very first in Dev Ward. This is my previous Let's Play ward. This over here, though, is my first. My first Infdev ward, or at least my first ward that was March of 27th. I want you to know something. I've played Minecraft starting in InfDev like five separate times. Um, maybe even six or seven. Now this, I don't know why, but this failed. I seriously don't know why, guys. Maybe I can fix it somehow, find a... I don't even know what went wrong. It it confuses me to death. Okay, 
I would like to tell you guys that wow, these trees are not any different than they were, I think. Hmm. The reason why I did this is because I wanted more instead of playing because I didn't really load enough. Because I am obsessed with this train gen. This would have been a railroad because I've done that in every single version. I wanted to make a railroad. Always wanted to make one for every single Minecraft playthrough I've made pretty much. This, I think, is the way to the other world. <laughs> Random late in the world. This one was actually my real. This was my real first in the world. But it was in the vanilla launcher. So, yeah. The sun actually used to rise there, or maybe, maybe set there, I'm not sure. But this is when I was really crazy with duping. I still don't know how I have these golden apples. I don't know why, if anyone knows how I got them, they can tell me. I don't remember them being in a chest in a dungeon, but I really don't know. And I have no idea how I got the bottle of chant enchanting. These so this ward is the first ward where I got a spawn all legit. We we're going to need this actually. So yeah, just a bunch of rails. Yep, there we go. Uh so one thing that the museum doesn't have yet is the pig spawner. So I have a bunch of rails here. And we're going to put them. So I got it all the way to this train station that I made. I kind of made a train station here. I want there to be a roller coaster ride exploring the ward. Or at least just the in dev and in dev train. I have this in here, which I can put all my rails in. And the pig even spawned on the way. Okay, so we have it in here. I'm going to just bring it all the way up. This brings back so many memories of placing railroads. Nowadays, we almost never place them. Logically, what I should have done was have it go that way, then that way. But I wanted to have it go up for long term, so you could hopefully see the view. Maybe the railroad would go this way. Or maybe I could use this. Nah, I have village or spawn eggs. Ah, oh, that's another thing. I have village or spawn eggs. 
Um, now that I think about it, there's so many things in this version I want to do, so maybe I shouldn't. Yep, I know. I'm just failing at this. Oh, maybe I could put it here and then redstone signal. But we don't have time for that today. We don't have time. You know what, I'm actually doing this. I'm going to have two stores here. So this will power this and that in the future. So like I I hold that if you summon a spawn or man caught in, it'll literally just like not walk. It's really buggy in modern Minecraft. Like, if you move it five blocks away, it'll no longer spawn. So I'm kind of wondering. So I'm taking this to the museum. Kind of. Okay, I'm not even trying that. Okay, here we go. Yeah, super steep hill. And... Oof. Oh! Uh-oh. So yeah, not a bad spot. I want to put it over here. Of course I could have made the roof thing here, but I wasn't really thinking straight. And I'm not swinging my pickaxe even near. I'm not even going to go near it. I'm not going to make it look good. I'm just going to not risk anything. If I wanted it to look good, I'd make a backup of my wall before doing so. Where does this slab go? Yo, I'll put it there temporarily. Over there. Now, I don't even want to go near it. So yeah, I will. I'm still not sure where I should put the list of how to get all of these items. Some of them, I have no choice but to do slash give. Some of them, I have no choice. I have no idea how long this episode is so far. So, it really depends on how much time we have left. But this is a very golden version, one of the best versions there are.